hello guys so in the last video we have seen how to fetch data from rest api endpoint and display into list view so in this video we are going to open a particular item from the list view and show the details of that particular entry so let's get started so first of all we need to go inside list style and add a own tap property where we need to pass a function so this function gonna navigate us to next details page so whatever we will create we have not created yet let's quickly create a new page details underscore page dot dot and we can simply make it stateless since we are not maintaining any state so let's give it a page details page and from here instead of passing this constructor we can return a scaffold and you can add the body part where we can have some text in the center so later on we will just modify this so text and since everything is let's mention details page is const so we can add a const here since scaffold is also const so add it const so this detail page is fine let's go back to home page and so for navigation we're gonna use navigator dot push so we want to come back if you want to add a back button on the top of the title bar then you can use this push so that we can come back so here second argument is the route so route we have material page route which is again taking a builder so builder gonna take one function with the context where we can mention the page you want to return so here simply use const and details page that's all let's save it and check this on tap is working so if i open it we are getting back this so here we missed one thing let me quickly add that app bar so that we can see the back button as well so app bar is equal to app bar and we can add the title as well so let's quickly add the title text and details so done so what's the problem here so let's quickly try to remove this const and put it here and put it here so app bar is not a const so that's why so now you can go back to the same list by pressing back button now what we left with we need to pass some data whenever we just open this so in order to do so we need the detail so what we need basically we need user pets so we had users pets is it yep user pets dot data and then index so we gonna pass this we can simply go to this model and we can cross check what we need so simply go here scroll down so we need this datum what we can do we can simply pass a datum so datum would be let's create a new property here in this detail page so that we can accept it so we don't need this delete this let's quickly add a final datum that is user pet and this we can simply assign using this constructor where we can mention required this dot user pet this page is done go back to this and here go to this error and simply do what just specify this named argument user pets and done so since we are passing this data and we cannot have const here for the final field let's go back to this and if you open this you can see everything works fine but we have not used any detail over here so let me specify here username so from where would you get this user at dot username so what we can do since it is a dynamic data we can remove this const and we can interpolate it 
we will say this is dollar this username and it's yep so let's enclose it in double quote so that i can use single quote as well so here it should say whose detail this particular user detail and if you want to align it to the center use another property center title and true save it and this portion is done now we can design here on the body part so here body part we have to display multiple entries so for that i will use a column widget and in the column we can add children and in the children we need first of all the image so let's use circular let's use that as circle avatar and in that we can use background image and we can use network image and just pass the url and the url we are getting from user pet dot pet image and you can mention the radius as well so let's say radius we gonna have to 150 and save it and you can see your image is coming over here so if you want you can add on border by wrapping it into something else let's quickly wrap it into another circle avatar and give it a radius of 152 and you can choose the color whatever you want so let's quickly add a little space on the top that is const sized box and give it some height let's say 30 is enough and we can add one comma here and save it that's fine now what else we need we can wrap this column into center if you want let's put it in the center save it and it becomes in the center and what else we need we need to display the name of the dog after this let's add comma use text widget and give it user pets dot pet name and you can add some style here like say text style and give it font size let's give it a 24 and everything is const let's add a const and save it so you got your dog name now what we can do we can add a little space over here so let's add const sized box and give it a height let's say of 10 pixel that is enough save it so let's go down here and add more spacing this time we're gonna add 20 height and here we can add one row so you can design whatever you want so i'm basically taking a row so that i can display two things that would be the icon of the dog let's say if again i will add the condition user pet dot is friendly is true then i will say icon start what icon i want to return pets otherwise icons dot do not touch so if you haven't seen my previous video of list view you can check out i will add the link in the description same way i will add the colors over here you can even copy it from this home page where we have added like this so i just copy this go back here and you can add the color over here for this icon color and paste this now just carefully we need to remove this and here we will mention user pet so that's all with this and you can see the icon is coming over there and since this is again the not a friendly dog so we will add the same condition to the border part of this circle avatar so let's give it a background color and done we missed with one extra comma save okay and let's go back to this 
row and add the second entry that I would like to add the text and which is again based on if the user pet is friendly then we can have some text like like uh, simply say first of all the name of the dog that is user pet dot dog sorry dot pet name is friendly and otherwise we will say just use this dog name dollar oops dollar here user pet dot pet name is not friendly and I think we can do till this and if you want you can add on the text size here so let's quickly use the same property over here with the style and we can just add comma here paste it so this time we can add a little lesser size and I think we need to align it to the center let's say main axis alignment dot center save this seems better and we can even change the color of this as well so let's use the same property over here for the color so if the dog is friendly then it should come in a green otherwise it should come in a let's cut this save this and this is fine let's try to look at the friendly dog and does it come nice yes it is coming nice so that's all i think so one more thing we can do if i try to change the orientation then you can see we are getting this error so we have overflow pixels so in order to resolve it what you can do simply wrap your the center widget into one more widget that is single child crawl view save this this will make your UI responsive and scrollable. Now, even if you are vertical or horizontally positioned, no problem with this. So let me quickly change this and everything works fine. So that's all for this video. If you have any doubt, do comment in the comment section. Thank you.